Now, uh, I want you to look at something, guys, okay? We still haven't solved the problem. We have solved some part of the problem, okay? Because remembering that now we are given the limits of integration, we have proven that what we have got here is the same thing as what we had initially, okay? So we have checked that. Now, to do the final part of this solution, we are just going to have, uh, yeah. So we're going to have this part now, where we are going to find uh, 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 the exact solution, okay? Now this solution will become X. Now we're we are looking at these two guys, the limit of integration, arc sine X plus the square root of one minus X squared from zero to one, okay? So what we're going to have is, we're only starting with the, with the upper limit of integration, okay? Only start with the upper limit of integration. When we start with the upper limit of integration, I mean it's one, arc sine one plus the square root of one minus one squared, okay? And then I'm going to say minus, zero, arc sine zero, plus the square root of one minus zero squared. Actually, let me remove this part. Let me do this. Just because we have already written it. Okay, so we're gonna have minus zero. So we always subtract between these two limits of integration. So I'm gonna have plus the square root of one minus zero squared, okay? And as you can see, guys, this becomes zero. This becomes zero because of one minus one. This becomes zero because of two times by zero, okay? And now the question is, what is what is arc sine of uh, one? I think arc sine of one is pi over two, okay? I think it's pi over two. Then you're gonna have minus, this becomes a final answer. I don't know what is this thing in 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 in, in decimal form. I don't know what the solution. If okay, please please to find me the solution. Decimal form. I never calculate. And please, okay, let me check. Let me check if sign. So this is ah. Uh, yeah, because sine of sine of pi over two, which is this part, is equal to one. So which means that arc sine of one is equal to pi over two. Okay. okay. So what is what is the decimal form? Right? What is the decimal? Okay, and please guys, tomorrow, when we have this other session, please uh, 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 remind me of all these equations that we use today, such that we do the tabular methods of these equations, such that I make sure that you do understand what we're doing at the time, okay? As you are writing down there, note those, those equations, okay? 0.57. It's what, 0.57. 0.5, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. So this is what we get, guys, okay? This is what we get. And thank you again, Mame. Okay, okay. so um, let, us, let us expand. Let us have another example. Let us have two more examples, three more examples and stuff. Actually, these ones are for you. I want you guys to solve these three questions. I know they are easy. We'll start with solving them tomorrow and then yeah. You, you, you know the three guys, okay? You know the three. So these three questions that are written, they are yours. And they've been there the whole video. They've been there the whole video. Okay. Now uh let us find let us solve for this one, x squared sine x dx. Okay. 
So with this one, I'm going to choose the range of in the people that they've attended. Either it's going to be a, a name, number, or anything. And then you are going to help us solve this question. Guys, I know this is the easiest question that you're going to see, right? And I'm not doing this because I want, I want to make you look bad in front of your suspects. Yeah? I just want you to show me if whether you do really get where I'm going this thing, or are you following? Or do we need to do more of these things for us to ensure that uh, as much as we are meeting here, we are using our time and our, yeah, you, you, you get the idea that I'm trying to, to show you here. It's not because I'm choosing you because I know you. I don't know your student numbers. Let I know, I don't even remember most people's names. I don't remember faces. I'm just terrible. Uh, I've got a bad name. So, yeah. so I'm just going to choose a bad and please do take part for us, for me and you. I'm not talking about any, any, any other person. I'm talking about me and you. For us to know if you really do need more uh, 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 help on this thing or not. And I can see people are leaving because obviously this is one thing that they are more afraid of. But it's okay. It's okay. Because at the end of the day, yeah, the only person who's gonna write test and say, okay, yeah, okay. Me, I'm just here to help you as much as I can. If, if, if you feel like this is not hard, it's fine. Okay. So let me uh, random choose. Um can three three six two eight. Uh it's three three. Okay, let me write this the number down. This person three three. Three three six three six three three eight nine nine. Okay. Yeah, like like this PC like so I don't know. Please, please, please. Uh what do you think? What do you think we should what is the first step that you go of for solving integration by part? If you're given something like this and they said to you, evaluate. Value. So the first step, I'm gonna ask it from this person. That's the first step. Okay. So three three six three three eight nine nine. Please do 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 let me know what is the first step that Uh, they said six three or six two. Oh, it's six two actually. Six two. Sorry about that. Six two. Six. Yeah, three three six two. Six two. Yes. yes please do answer. Three three six two three eight nine. But wait a second. Yes. Uh, what is the first step? I just only need the first step from you. I don't need any other thing. The other parts will be told by the other people in the class, okay, in the session. What is the first step? Uh, uh, 3362, 3362, I'm still waiting. People are running away. Okay, anybody that wants to answer, guys, please do tell me what is the first step uh, with everything that you have done today. What is the first step? Okay. Because I feel like if you don't, if you don't engage, you are not going to see what we need to improve and what we need to change and stuff like that. So please, guys, I'm begging practical on my knees. If I could turn this camera, you would see it that I'm on my Oh yes, three six two two says that we have to let uh, we have to let we have to let u be equals to x squared and let du dv be equals to sine x dx. Okay, 
Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 three, 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 six, two. Okay. Sorry for calling you by the number. <laughs> Sorry for calling you by the number. Okay. The next part, or oh, the next question for this is, what is going to be the derivative of this and what is going to be the integral of it? So I'm going to choose any part randomly and I'm choosing the following student number. Okay, choosing the following student number. Uh, 3322, 3734, 3734. What is going to be the derivative du and what is going to be our perspective? So 3322, 3734, please do let me, please do tell me what is going to be the solution. So what is going to be our DU? What is the derivative of x squared? And then what is the integral of sine? The student number is 3322. Ah, guys. Okay. Um, Jenny, three, three, two, two, as that. Okay. So if, okay, it's fine. Um, let me just continue because I was trying to make this into an engagement. You guys suggest it. it's fine. Just continue and have negative cos of x. I nearly wrote plus. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. Okay, this is what's going to happen. Three, three, two, two, seven, four, there. Uh, okay, it's fine. Uh, they are coming back again. Uh, now we're going to have uh, the next part, which is u times v, which is going to be a negative x squared plus x. This negative is coming from here, guys. Okay. I didn't just say it's negative x. No, this negative is coming from here. And then I'm going to have minus the integral of v, which is negative plus x, and have this one, two x, x. Ah, these these are the nice ones. I love these questions because they okay, let me not give out too much information about such questions. Let me just let it come to its natural conclusion. Okay, let me just let it come to its natural conclusion. Okay, so the next part is okay. okay let me not ruin it. Let me just negative x squared plus x. So we're going to take out negative two, so going to plus a two. Let's go to x cos x dx. Now, this is the nice part about it. We can see that we do have integration by parts again, okay? We do have integration by parts again, okay? So now we're going to choose a new uh, 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 variable, a new, um, pair of variables. So we're gonna let t be equals to x, then our dt is equals to x, and then we're gonna let our, uh, the rest becomes q. Our dq becomes cos x x, then our q becomes sine of x. Okay, can you see that one, guys? Ne? So what's gonna happen next is, this part is going to be very critical, okay? So we're going to have negative x squared cos of x plus 2 times. Now, this is where the integration by parts comes again. t times q, which is u times, okay? t times q, which is x sine x. And then you're going to have minus the integral of u, or I mean of v, du. d is this one. 
dx. This is the k. But in this case, I, I didn't want to choose the same thing as u and the u. I want you guys to be able to know that you can choose any variable. It's just that we chose u and v. Okay. But they are going to give you the exact same solution. Even if I can say, okay, let me let this to be u and let this one to be a v. The problem that I have with such things is that it's going to confuse uh, somebody at the later stage. Okay. That's why I like to use different uh, variables to find different uh, uh, types of. Yeah. So, what's going to happen next is we're going to have this as negative x cos of x plus 2x sine x. Now, we can integrate these guys. We do know how to do this. Okay. So, we're going to have a negative times a negative, which is not equal to us of cos of x, and then we're gonna have this, okay? So now this two is gonna multiply each and every term is the brackets there. So we're gonna have negative x squared, cos of x plus two x, sine of x plus two cos x plus c. This becomes our final answer, our final solution. So do you want me to check it, guys? Do you want me to check it? Please, please check, it's two sine x plus two cos x, two cos x. My handwriting is just, okay. So should I check, should I check if whether this thing is true or not? Is it, is it the same thing, is it not? If you feel like you wanna check it on your own, it's still allowed, but if you want me to check it with you, so what do you want, guys? You want me to check it with you? Okay, somebody said check it. I shall, I shall check it, check it. So let us check. Okay, so we're gonna find the derivative of this, d dx of negative x squared plus x plus two x sine x plus two, plus x plus c. We take the derivative of the first one, derivative of the second one, derivative of the so on and so on. Now this one becomes beautiful because you've got too many uh, products, okay? But too many products. First product is this one. So we're gonna, choose, gonna take this function, this one function, that one is that function. Then, yeah. So I'm gonna leave the first function, derivative of the second one, negative sine x, then we're gonna have plus, then we leave the, the second function, and we, uh, we differentiate the second one, and then we're going to have plus 2x, the derivative of sine is just cos, plus sine, the derivative of 2x is just 2, and then I have plus, the derivative of cos is just negative sine, okay? And then the derivative of constants, okay? The bit of a constant is right. So, if we can uh, uh, continue with this expansion, we are going to see that. Okay, let me just see if this is what is going to come out. Okay, if this is what. So, uh, uh, okay, let me let me wrap out this. Uh, Ah, I it's fine. I'll write the question. I'll write that question again. I forgot. Uh the question is uh, check out x squared sine x. So this is what we are trying to find. X squared sine x. Okay, so what we are going to have now is uh, we, we have differentiated all of these things now by multiplying each other. So negative times this negative becomes a positive, so it becomes x squared sine x. So this becomes minus 2x plus x. And you're gonna have plus 2x plus x. And you're gonna have plus 2 sine x, gonna have minus 
to the side next. And as you can see, guys, from here, oh, this is my application. From here, we are going to see that these terms are going to pass zero to t. Then I'm going to answer becomes x squared sine x. Okay. Which is the same as our integral. Okay. So it, it is the same as the integral for our checking method is solution is Okay. So ah, let me give you another one. Let me give you another one. Um, because I believe I believe that this one will give us a greater uh, view of of the this one is, this one is really guys I love such questions. And these are the, these are exam type of questions. Okay, these are exam type of questions. So they say to you, uh, uh, find sec cube x dx. Uh, right, such questions are questions that I love. Such questions I love them so much that yeah. Okay, so suppose we're given something like this, guys. We're given something like this. Okay. The approach here is the same, but slightly different. Okay. What do you think I should do from here, guys? If I'm given something like this, what should I do? What do you think? You don't need to give me the solution. Give me what you think I should do. And this thing is quite easy. It's very easy. And I trust that you. Oh. Somebody speaking. By right, somebody speaking. Yes. Ah, uh, guys. Is there anybody with any sort of idea? Say, can I try? Yeah, please try, my man. Please try. Uh, say you have to separate sec x and times sec squared x. Tan. Sec x times yes. sec squared x. Oh, I thought you were saying tan. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Thank you, my guy. Thank you, my guy. The integral of sec x multiplied by a I need to set sign. Sec squared x dx. My man, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and I see somebody wrote in the comment section. Yes, same thing. Hey, no. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, thank you, my man. Thank you, my man. Thank you for giving us the solution. So, the next part is identifying what is our value of u. It's important to add. Let u be equal to something, then you can let our u be equal to something. Okay. So, in this case, what is going to be our u? What are you going to choose to be your u? I would personally advise you to choose the one which is not square. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that I'm letting it out that my u should be sec x, then my du will be what? Sec x, tan x, dx. We know the derivative of sec x, right? If you don't know the derivative of sec x, please do let me know. I will try to come up with a, a, a cheat sheet for these things, okay? So our dv will become sec squared x dx. Then our v will just become tan x because we know that the derivative of, of, of tan x is sec squared x, okay, sec squared x. All right, so the next part is the part that we have most for love by u. u times v is going to be sec x tan x, okay, minus the integral of v du, our v is tan x, du is sec x, tan x dx, all right. So it's, 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 it's fairly nice, it's fairly nice, it's enjoyable, okay? It's enjoyable to do such questions. Sec x, tan x, minus, now this one is going to be even more, sec x and you're gonna have tan squared x dx okay now if you can remember if you can remember we once we once 
all agreed that tan squared x is the same thing as sec squared x minus 1. Okay? Because we know by the rules of trigonometry that if we bring this one this side, this and that side, I want to have 1 equals to sec squared x minus tan squared x. So just, okay? So that's what we did. We just, uh, you see, transposed, transposed. Okay. So I will find with that I guess over guys. If you're not fine, please do that. And then I'll try to explain. But however, if you do not have any questions, you are going to have sec x tan x minus the integral of sec x. Then for this one, we're just going to introduce sec squared x minus one and have our dx. Okay. And then from here, we're just gonna have sec x tan x minus the integral of sec cubed x minus the integral of sec x and then oh i forgot the dx, dx okay okay now this is the most important this is the most interesting part actually this is the most interesting part because now first i wanted to kill this sec cube uh, x okay i wanted to kill the sec cube x dx but at the end i still do have it okay i do have it because uh the solution that i'm going to show you now it's the most common solution that you are going to have with such questions okay now remembering that initially we had sec cube x dx uh, due to the fact that we chose our u to be equal to sec x and then our d each equal to sec squared x, but multiplication of the two just gave us sec cube x, okay? So what's gonna happen is, we're going to transpose in this case, okay? We're going to transpose in this case, okay? Uh, are, are we all seeing what I'm seeing here, guys? If, if, if you're not seeing it, please do stop me now before I go on and become super excited, okay? So we're going to transpose and we're going to have two, sec cubed x dx, which is equals to sec x tan x minus integral of sec x dx, okay? Sec x dx, okay? So we do have something like this, guys. We do have uh, 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 solutions that come up in such nature. So you should be able to, yeah, to work through them, okay? So the integral of this, the integral of sec x dx, I think it's equals to ln of sec x plus tan x. Okay, this is what we get. This is what. We get. Uh, um, unfortunately, I think. There's no way. Yeah, I will just have a, 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 a session where I'm going to explain how we get such solution. Okay, I'll just have a session like that. So let me just wrap out this part, guys. I'm going to wrap out this part. Let me such that we can be able to get more answer. Because I believe that you're going to that strong if okay so from here from our last step that we wrote we had two integral sec cubed x dx which is equals to sec x tan x and we're gonna have minus the lane of sec x plus tan x plus okay so this becomes we did not have the final answer. It's just a solution, but it's not the final answer, okay? It's just a solution. So what we're going to have is our integral of sec cube x dx is equal to one half of sec x tan x minus one half ln of sec x plus tan x. And then usually what we do is write this constant 
it's did not write it as half C. But this C and this C, they're not the same. This is a small letter C, this is a capital letter C. These are two things, okay? But we do not show the effects of half on C. It's just that I choose to do that. It's not a must, okay? It's not a must. Take note of that. It's not a must. Okay. But this becomes our final answer. Okay. This becomes our final answer. I, I do have a lot of questions. I do have a lot, a lot of questions which are there in the textbook. Questions which are there in the exam. Well, let me see if I don't have any exam paper. I have one question. And then we can see. Uh, nah, I don't have it. But it's okay, guys. It's not a train smash. Oh, oh, okay. So I do have one paper from November 2017. It was set by the, the, the examiner was uh, Mr. M.S. Zwini. I'm sure you guys know Mr. M.S. Zwini. Yes, yes. He, he was the first examiner. The second examiner was Mr. M.A. Pagala. Okay, so the question is, we must evaluate or find the integral, okay? Find the integral. Guys, such questions, uh, exam questions are nice questions. If you can be able to, to be comfortable with solving such questions, guys, I'm telling you, uh, anything that comes to you, you're going to be able to uh, 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 solve it then. So this question is eight marks. This question is eight. Uh, you, I was told that if a question is eight marks, it must take eight minutes to solve. And in this case, we do have six minutes. But oh well, just to be able to solve. I, I trust in you guys. So you're gonna let our U be equals to something, and you're gonna let our D be equals to something. In this case, what are we going to, to let our U to be equals to guys? Both these functions, take note guys, both these functions, they, they are going to differentiate infinitely so, infinitely so. So choose which one do you want us to use as our e. Is it e to the 2x or x? I mean, cos x. So which one should be our u? One says our u should be cos x. Okay. So we're going to use that as well. So we're using it as cos x. Then what is the derivative of x? EU of cos x is just going to be negative sine x dx. This is what you guys chose, right? So I'm just doing what you guys chose. So here are going to have e to the 2x dx. Then our b becomes 1 half e to the 2x. And then you write this. OK. So we do have these two things, guys, OK? We do have these two things. And we know uh, from integration by parts that we have e times e, stuff like this. We're going to have 1 half e to the 2x cos of x, OK, minus the integral. And then we're going to have v du, OK? So our v is just 1 half negative sine of x then we're gonna have e to the two x. All right. Okay, so we find with this idea now. Eh? So I'm gonna take out this uh, negative half as our, as our constant. So I'm gonna have one half e to the two x cos x uh, plus one half integral of e to the two x uh, sine, it's sine, it's sine of x then I'm going to have dx, OK, sine, sine. OK, so from here, we're going to have 1 half e to the 2x cos of x plus 1 half e to the 2x sine of x dx. So what do you see that is common with this question and the previous question? There's something which is common. The previous questions we had to 
we had to use um, integration bypass twice. Even here, we have to use integration bypass twice because both these two functions are what are infinitely differentiable. Differentiate. They are going to differentiate. That's why, with such questions, the tabular method is tedious. It's tedious. Okay. It's tedious. So, we are going to check what types of, 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 of um, yeah, things can be used to find, uh, I mean, we can use a tabular method to find a solution. Okay. So, we're going to let our t be equals to e to the 2x instance. Uh, Oh, oh, wait, I, I must give you the, the, the freedom of Between e to the 2x and sine x, which one should be our u in this case, our t? And then between e to the 2x and sine x, which one should be our q or our v? You have got a freedom of choice, guys. Choose any. I've got sine x, got okay. For consistency purposes, let me choose our t to be equal to sine x, then e to the 2x dx is our uh, so our dt is equal to plus x dx, and then our q becomes one half e to the 2x. All right, the question is, is my integration my integration my integration? Oh. Yeah, but it's fine. It's, it's fine. Because the derivative of e to the 2x is just going to 2 when you multiply it just as 2x. So that's fine. Okay, so what we're going to have is 1 half e to the 2x cos of x plus 1 half. Then you're going to have the, these two together 1 half, 1 half. Um, yeah, e to the 2x, I have sine x, I think. Yeah, because it's this and this, okay? And then we're gonna have minus integral of the uh, integral of this, which is v du. So we're gonna have one half e to the 2x cos of x, okay? Uh, dx. Okay, so as you can see, guys. We're going to have this thing and it's gonna be coming there over and over and over over again. Okay, but it's fine. It's not a train smash. E to the 2x cos x. I'm running now because what less than one minute. Uh, e to okay, we're gonna have one half e to the 2x sine of x that you take out the common vector. I mean the constant in the e to the 2x cos of x dx. And as you can see, guys, this and this 